Hey, what's up you guys? So today's video, uh, we're at the start of Memorial Weekend 2024 and me and Hide are going camping uh, with some friends uh, in the southeast corner of, uh, or I should say northern east corner of Utah. And it's been a few years that we've been able to go camping over Memorial Day weekend because the weather uh, the last couple of years has been really, really crappy. Like last year, it was in the 30s and we had snow, so we had to camp, uh, cancel our trip. This time, however, uh, tonight and tomorrow might be a little sketchy weather-wise. Uh, definitely tomorrow, but Sunday and Monday should pre be pretty decent. So, hoping to get on the water. We got the boat in tow. And uh, our normal vacation spot is still under construction, so we're heading to a state park uh, in the near uh, nearby in the same area. So, uh, looking forward to it, and uh, we'll roll on the clips now.
Uh, as you can see, we're all tucked in here in Chateau Shimabukuro. <laughs> we got an aero mattress. Got our sleeping bags. Got a buddy heater because it's going to get cold tonight. Tomorrow night's supposed to get down into the 30s. Tonight's supposed to be in the low 50s. Got my CPAP all set up. <laughs> Help me sleep through the night. We, luckily, this time we actually have power. So I don't have to use my solar solar generator my jackery which has served us really well but we're gonna tuck in it's about 10 30 uh, we just had brats for dinner and yeah we're all we're all tucked in and it's starting to it's been raining for like drizzling for like the last how long maybe hour hour and a half so and the wind's picking up so we kind of got cold called it a night and <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow night night, night.
up and fill. So easy to refill your boat. Self-supporting, every last drop is done. <laughs> Quick, easy, and painless. Well guys, if you watch the TV show, The Secret of Skinwalker Ranch, like me and Hide do, it's that way, a few miles. So if you're into UFOs and UAPs and mysterious stuff, that's the way to one of the most uh, controversial places on the planet for UFO activity. So that's it on Memorial Day weekend camping trip 2024. As you can see by the clips, Hide and Austin got the cream of the crop water, while me and Russell got chacked. And, uh, but hey, sometimes that's how it goes. But it was uh, not a complete washout. But the first, first day and a half uh, was pretty rough. We got there Friday afternoon, early evening, set up camp had dinner and uh, wasn't able to get on the water. We got a little too late by the time we got all set up. Uh, and it got a little chilly that night, but the next day, all day from morning, it rained all Friday night into uh, Saturday morning and it stayed pretty chilly. There were moments of blue sky and uh, no rain and it looked like we were gonna be able to get on the water, but Mother, ne Mother Nature was just teasing us. Uh, literally, like maybe five, ten minutes later, it'd go back to being overcasted and getting rained on and really, really windy. 
the hardest part was Saturday night into Sunday night because the overnight temps got into the upper 30s and we're tent camping and uh, with the rain uh, you know raising the humidity levels it got really really cold um, got out on the water finally on Sunday late morning had to give some time for the air temps to warm up because again Saturday nights over te uh, overnight temps were pretty pretty chilly and cold uh, but the water only lasted for two sets he did and uh, Austin got their sets in and then uh, Russ got his set in but it ended up getting really rolly and it was so bad for me that I just ended up taking a surf set and then uh, Saturday it wasn't supposed to be windy at all uh, there wasn't a whole lot of boat traffic in the afternoon but the winds just picked up it was a steady 20 to 25 mile an hour winds and it started white capping so that we didn't even launch the boat again uh, so we just hung around the camp campfire try to stay warm uh, had a nice dinner and uh, called it a night and uh, try to get out early this morning before we packed up and uh, started to head home and as you can see like uh, again the, the state park we went to is the only one in the area because the other one has sh been shut down for over a year for uh, extensive renovation so all all of the boaters in this area just came to one location and uh, typically we'd have at least good water until maybe 11 30 uh, 12 o'clock and they were out by 9 9 30 also the water levels are so high that uh, it was causing a lot of reverb off the shore uh, so after a couple of uh, a couple of riders you're having to deal with your own rollers uh, it caused a lot of debris to float back into the lake uh, we we're picking up logs uh, taking them off the water or throwing them on shore because uh, there are some pretty significant logs you can take out your prop but overall it was still a great fun weekend uh, he did and I had a great time just hanging out with Austin and Russ and uh, now we're just making the long drive back home and gonna have to unpack and clean the boat uh, the wind and the birds uh, did some damage on the boat that's gonna take some cleaning but still still is a fun weekend all right so hope you guys enjoyed this edit and you guys had a great holiday weekend and thanks to all that uh, on this Memorial Day that uh, sacrificed their lives and uh, uh, we uh, celebrate in memory of them all right Aloha